Surprise, surprise, motherfucker! The king is back! Coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight tilt. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading a right. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 126 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, come back, kid. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. That guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters. Huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Lee gets caught with that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Over and over, he landed with big body kicks. 
Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, uppercut to the head, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. His opponent was doing a great job of seeing the punches coming straight at him, so he changed the angle and came up in the middle with it. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Try to establish that jab. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Real nice body kick lands. Two minutes to go. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just unable to quite find that range. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Nice punch there by Lee. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Final seconds here. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, big left hook there. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Just out of the range with that right hand. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to win. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh, he heard a battle of the jab. Just over three minutes now to go. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. You know, when guys start to tell you, kick me here again, they start to posture. That means that what you're doing is actually taking an effect on him. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Just misses with the straight left hand. Well, he misses with the left punch there.
Great punch landed with so much power. Slips the punch. Some nice back and forth action here. What a body kick. Oh, big right hand, yes. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh! What a round. Oh, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. You gotta check these low leg kicks. That's a big strike right there. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Defense. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Big kick lands. Ooh. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do it. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off uh -huh. with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Beautiful strike. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Lee gets hit with a kick. Right punches there. Head kick. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, He's also keeping very busy. Oh, big head kick there. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Seconds winding down in round three. What a round. Hey, stop. All right, so that's the end of the round. He got some things done offensively, but defense still an issue. And as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Huh. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it.
another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, that's a nice strike. Big head kick land. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Nice leg kick. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Going for the head kick. No dice. Oh, man. oh, big left. Under three minutes remain in round four. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Big leg kick land. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Caught that kick there. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Look at him with his hip into that kick. And they separate. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head of anyone. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. 20 seconds now remain in the round. <laughs> 10 seconds remaining in round four. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Beautiful shot to the body. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, and he caught the kick. Straight punch land. Lee's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Keep your hands up. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Another straight left. Went for the inside leg kick. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful body, he lands right under the elbow. Ooh, big shot lands. 
DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Real sneaky by the field. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Lee. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. That lead left hand has been a weapon for him all night. Oh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Beautiful body kick. Oh, well, you can't enter the pocket there unprotected. You got to figure out a way to get your guard up a little bit. Another kick lands to the head there. And let's see if he and his corner can make the proper adjustments defensively to avoid any further head kicks here in this fight. Good stick. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. 20 seconds to go. Just out of range with that left hook. Spinning back fist. All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous.